All right, we're going to begin with um, our first lesson of Chapter 4 on factors, fractions, and exponents. And really specifically, this is going to go through the first section in Chapter 4 on divisibility and factors. Our objective and our goal today is to use the divisibility rules and to find all the factors of a given number. Here's our definition, and this is um, some definitions from class, and feel free to pause and play as you wish. But when a number is divisible, then um, it can be divided into another number without any remainders, no fractions, no decimals at this point. And then factors are really factors that a number that divides evenly into a given number, such as 2 and 8 would be factors of 18. Now those are only partial factors, but all the factors of 18 would be 1 and 3, 2, I'm sorry, 6 and 18, as well as 2 and the 9. First part, we talked about the divisibility rule. So really, this is a chart where we get to check on what we call the last digits. So if an integer can be divided by 2, then that it would end with an even number, such as 2 and 4, 6, 8, or 0. So this here, this 1,458,936 would mean that it can divide by 2 because of that last digit 6. And if a number is divisible by 5, then it would end in a 5 or a 0, and for example, that number, because of the 5 in the last digit. And if it can be divided by um, a 10, then if it would end, a number ends in 0, then an example of that would be 5,930, where the 0 means that it can, that whole number can be divided by 10. And here are some examples, and go ahead and feel free to have a whiteboard, um, a piece of paper and pencil, or even using a trans, uh, transparency um, a, a screen where you can have some type of expo marker that you can also erase on uh, those screen protectors, those paper protectors. And here we want to see if this number can be divisible by 2, 5, or 10. And we know that the 0, based on that, it can be divided by 2 because it's an even number. It can be divided by 5, and it could also be divided by 10. So we would list those three numbers as divisible by 160. How about this one, 56? Go ahead and feel free to pause because I will go through the video or PowerPoint um, all the way through without pausing. The answer would be 2 and not 5 and not 10 because the 6 at the end would mean that 5 and 10 can both not be divided by uh, into 56. 369, uh, 2 would not be able to, it's not an even number. 5 is also not able to, and 10 is also not able to as well because of that 9. And this number here, can 2 divide into it? Nope. How about 5? Yes. And how about 10? No. And number, the next question, this big number here, we're only, remember, just looking at the 0 at the end. 2 can, 5 also can, and 10 also can. All right, the divisibility rules for 3 and 9 are listed here. If we can divide by 3, we would take the sum of all the digits and make sure that the answer is divisible by 3. An example here would be 561, and if I add all those three digits up, I get 12, and 12 is divisible by 3, and making this number divisible by 3. And for the 9, uh, it's similar to the rule for 3. We'd sum up the digits and see if it's divisible by 9. In this example here, the digit it's all add up to 18, and 18 is divisible by 9, so this digit is divisible by 9, and so yes. Um, are these numbers divisible by 3 or 9? Go ahead and try them. And if we add them up, nope, and no for 3 and 9. How about this number here? And if we add them up, and... 3 yes, and 9 no. So go ahead and try those. Feel free to pause now. And here we go. And the answers to all these questions are going to come up right now. And this PowerPoint is also going to be on Edmodo um, today for you to view at any time. And how about these given numbers? If I gave you these numbers, go ahead and work them out and pause as you wish. And here are your answers now. Number 1. 2 and 5 and 10. And number 2, we have 2 also works, uh, 3. 
and that would be it. 5, 9, and 10 all do not divide by that number. Number 3, the answer would be 3 and 5, and there's your answer. And number 4 would be 3 and 5, and the 9, and there's your answer. Now let's just explore some rules for dividing by 4. You would actually, for 4, look at the last two digits and see if that number is divisible by 4. So here's a large number. It ends in 12. It's actually 358,912. 358, and because it ends in 12, then we would say that it passes the 4 test. For the 6, it's um, also very similar a little bit. But if the number is divisible by 2 and 3, then we would call that number divisible by 6. So it's got to meet two rules, actually, the 2 rule and the 3 rule to be divisible by 6. So in this number here, it's even, so it works for um, the 2, and to be divisible by 3, if I added the digits, it equaled 18, and here it passes the test.